Training arc already over. Issei seemed to have an ultimate technique, but the beam attack that he used last episode at the end. That's not really the ultimate technique, right? Because the ultimate technique seems like some kind of wind magic where... Presumably, everybody's clothes are just gonna come off. Cause come on, like the potato peels, the onion peels, the way that we use it on Asha during that one night, like, oh boy, I can't wait. Are we going into the raiding war immediately? I hope so. Let's begin today's reaction. Wait. Wait, where's our horny alarm clock? I guess we're getting serious. No horny alarm, okay? I couldn't sleep. Oh, kinky. Asha, wearing a, the clothes of a holy woman even though you're a devil now? Oh, you freak. I'm surprised this doesn't hurt her. Like, I'd imagine that if you put these holy clothes on, it would hurt you or something. Because she's the devil. Aww. I really like these two together. Like, this should be the main ship. Damn. My man better be boosted out of his mind, bro. Oh my god, ah, chef! Is this really the main ship? I like Rias and Akino, but I feel like these two have more in common. Oh. Horny alarm clock, but this time, it's time to get serious. Whoa! Satan Lucifer! Cause we know of a god, but like Satan actually does exist. Oh shit, everybody's gonna be witnessing this tournament. Not tournament, this battle. Yeah. One of the six? One? Of? I thought there was just only one Satan, but... Okay, that makes sense why the queen of, you know, Lucifer would be the strongest queen. That makes a lot of sense. But don't worry, baby girl. Issa sees you just for your titty. It's not your family name. That's what I was thinking about, but... Why can't we promote to king too? Can we? We can't. That's against the rules of chess, right? I can't believe there's just an entire cat girl faction, man. Nah, he's getting too cocky. He's getting way too cocky. Wait, if someone invades the enemy base and promotes, but then leaves, do they stay promoted? How does that work? Lap pillow already? Oh, she's wearing black today. Why lap pillow? Maybe it's, uh... Yes, maybe it's to hype him up. Maybe it'll to boost his confidence, man. You're gonna cuck Asha though like this? Come on, Asha, don't watch this. <laughs> what an amazing sensation. <laughs> okay, what did this really do, though? <laughs> maybe it's to calm him down, give him confidence. What's her lab, Riaz? Who couldn't cry? No, I don't think he's exaggerating, though. I can always be your lap pillow. And look at Asha! Asha's in the cuck chair! Why does Asha always get cucked like this? Release the spell? Oh, Jesus, Koniko, why are you spreading like that? Uh-oh, what's the next transition gonna be? Oh, Jesus, Kon, this is kind of wild. They're just showing the nipples in the transition scenes now, huh? They're, like, setting up traps, yeah? And then she's sending some illusionary shit. This is the goblin. Huh. What's the spell on Issei? What? Do we have some kind of limiter on him? No, no, no. Do, do we have a limiter before? Yeah. We're special because we got eight pieces. No. How much power does he truly have then? How much, how much percentage has he been using so far? Multiple layers. Meaning our power still isn't full yet. Oh shit. He has so much inherent power. That's still locked away. Eight pawns. So maybe we're only using two pawns worth of power right now. Wait. This is kind of getting really high. How strong is he say? You thought that? I don't know. Maybe she was flexing on you. No, stop praying. You're gonna get a headache. You should be praying to Satan instead. Even if it's a girl, that's hard. No mercy. Equal right means equal left. Though they're gonna get boosted out their ass, bro. Yo, I hope he knocks some girls out. No, we're not adorable. We're a man. You better see us as a man. I don't think Rias does yet. What the fuck? 
That's kind of funny, I guess. That's right, he's the immortal phoenix. How do we beat an immortal being? Don't let him regenerate. Disintegrate him. Whatever power we have, shoot him with the beam. They're already here. Let's go. Is it the pole girl? The pole girl that destroyed us a couple episodes ago? Yeah, it is her right there on the right. Yes. Oh, that was Mira. She's a pawn too? Jesus, she's stacked. Look at these shitty ass pawns. I bet they got a single piece. We got eight pieces. Rook versus Rook? Level of a queen? But Koniko can fight, right? Come on, Koniko, you got this. Boosto! Senpai, wow. <laughs> We're more useful than that. Come on now. Koniko? I like it when Koniko has faces like that. And she like approves that. She's like, wow, you're kind of cool right now. Damn, you can look at you, Beruna, man. Her design is crazy. Akino's trap. Illusion. No, maybe that was uh, Kiba's traps. Uh-oh. Classic. Bro, folks, pay attention. Oh my god, he's already done. <laughs> oh my god, he's already done. Is that a chainsaw? Is that a chain... Yo, this is Chun-Li. Deadass, this is the Chun-Li leg movement. Them thighs are juicy. Follow up. Koniko tackle. I love how every move attack sound Koniko makes. It's like he, he, even though it's like a like a super strong attack. It's so funny because of the contrast. It's called a gap moe, right? They just straight up have chainsaws. What the fuck? They're kind of cute though. Ugh. Boosto, come on. Uh, dodging in midair like this should be physically impossible, but he's doing it. Boost! Oh, come on! Laser beam? What the? What? Wait, he's just marking them? And, and then? Well, I, I don't know what. I never knew you had to mark them. What? Uh, okay, so he he marks them, but then what? So he touches them, uh, and then? Yeah, I'm surprised he fucking blocked it and broke the stick, but... Oh, ultimate technique incoming? Or, or? Huh. Oh! Wings are out! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Dress? Break? Oh, they're all getting naked right now, aren't they? Bro, are you serious? Of course. What else would it be? Just like the onion peel. Just like the potatoes. Of course that was gonna happen. That's pretty cool, though. He touches them. He does a cool pose. Dress break. My man's actually manifesting his horniness into this actual power. What an actual Giga Chad. Vulgar he may be, but he's making his dream become reality. <laughs> they, they can't fight. Unless we marry a girl, it's completely fine with being naked. <laughs> Poor Asha, man. Just made her come up here and just stripped her. Ultimate technique, Asha. Just over and over. He just kept destroying all his pajamas. I'm sure there's gotta be a more efficient way than doing this over and over again, right? No, it's gotta be the bra also. Can't be just the shirt. 
The underwear, the bra, everything's gotta go off. Yo, what if there's an opponent in the future where it's just an exhibitionist? Like, Koneko, come on. It was kind of cool, though. But what if there's an opponent in the future? Oh my god, Chumni's ass. Stop getting distracted. What if there's a future opponent where they don't care about being naked? They're just always naked. That'll be like Issei's ultimate, you know, enemy. Oh. What's the next plan? <laughs> no, you guys already lost. Bye. Akino's thunder? Oh! Oh! I didn't realize Akino was about to commit some war crimes. Oh! <laughs> Why didn't you just do this from the beginning? <laughs> we never had to go into the school in the first place, bro. Holy shit, she just throws down a nuke like that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting punished, but I can. Oh, what's that tongue movement there for a second? That was a big move. Now what? Though? Will he actually get out of his chair and move, though? Oh, I feel like the episode's about to end. Oh no, I've been having too much fun. No, the episode's about to end. Meet up with Kiba, and now like the enemies. All right, sure. No, no, no. Kiba's got a different plan, right? No way. They're just getting away this season. No, it's an illusion. Yep, there we go. The true trap. Take him out, Kiba. I wonder if the girls will be like, Yeah, what a pretty boy. <laughs> she knows, she knows. Damn, you're kind of hot, but really? You can do this? But our sword... True, but our sword doesn't work on... Like, it works really good against angels. Koneko, come on! It's true, if we mark Koneko, we can use stress break, but... How's Kiba gonna use his sword that negates, you know, light if they don't use light? Ugh, we gotta go get Koneko first. Koneko? Oh, she's fine, right? She's fine. You gotta do Koneko this dirty, really? I can't believe they're chewing fan service. They use that opportunity for Kona to get hit by a bomb to fucking get her naked. Yubaruna. Oh, fuck. Dude, her design is insane, though. Take. Take? One of the best episodes by far so far. I mean, the earlier episode, like the earlier bit, I'm sure I edited out the YouTube content, but like there was a lot of like plot and like, um, what's the word? Like planning the strategy, but the actual battle portion, damn, this shit slaps. I love battle showing and this is getting right into it. I can't believe his entire power has just revolved down to the hornier he gets, the better he is. He's manifested his horny into this dress break power. And I'm sure that's not just the end of it, right? There's gotta be more different powers like that. The weakness is that he has to touch them to get them naked. But now that I think about it... What the fuck is the point of this power? It just makes them naked. There's no destructive force behind it. It just gets them naked and they go, Oh my god, you're perfect! And then they're just kind of like... Kind of... They're, they're, they're just put in a state where they can't fight because of the shock that they're naked. Now, this won't work against an enemy. There's gonna come a girl in the future where she doesn't give a fuck about any about that. Oh, that's gonna be so funny. But don't forget... Even though Dressbake doesn't have destructive capability, we still do have that laser beam that we shot against Kiba. And I believe that laser beam attack is going to be the key into beating Riser, who is like an immortal being that can regenerate. Another thing also, Issei, how many pawns worth of power are we truly using right now? Because Ria said, we put eight pawns in you, but you can't use all of it. So far, he's probably been using just one. And now what? We've unlocked two pawns? This is getting so hype, but hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.